I'm Dustin, and uh, I just moved here from um, Seattle literally yesterday, so apologies for the jet lag. Uh, and this talk is about some open source software called AB Street that I work on um, with some collaborators listed here. Um, so AB Street is a open street map based um, traffic simulation, or at least that's how it started. Uh, and we're looking at downtown Seattle. Um, the travel demand data comes from a uh, local authority in Seattle. But um, these are different vehicle types and uh, people walking and biking around the city. And um, if we zoom in this area here and slow things down a little bit, um, we can see a lot of detail uh, that we can derive from OpenStreetMap. So for example, you see detailed lane configuration. Um, and here, there seems to be a traffic jam at these two traffic lights um, because the traffic light timing actually isn't coordinated because traffic light timing doesn't exist publicly. Um, but anyway, the, this is an agent-based simulation, so we could follow each of these um, cars individually and kind of study uh, whatever we want about them. And then the neat thing you can do in AB Street is say, I don't like how this street looks. Um, maybe I know that there's a bus that gets stuck in traffic. So we can take this and uh, transform this lane into a bus lane. And then the same thing on the other side and apply the changes um, kind of to, to the whole section of the street. And then uh, we could run the simulation again and then um, if, if it's kind of well calibrated, uh, figure out if the public transit can um, have better frequency and get stuck in traffic less often. Uh, and so all of this is sort of meant to be um, done, for, bun, done by uh, cycling advocacy groups and people without um, civil engineering expertise. And so by making the software really visual, um, the goal is to, uh, to get more people involved in transportation planning. Um, and so I'll show you a second uh, tool. Um, so this is work that started only about a month ago. It's really rough, but it's um, meant to be a tool for planning low traffic neighborhoods. So uh, we're act this is um, central Leeds, and I'm going to uh, focus on this neighborhood bounded by um, a few major roads. And so the, the color patterns show you where um, the reachability based on driving. So um, from the yellow area, you can't drive anywhere to the blue and vice versa. But you'll notice that the blue area covers a fair bit. And so it, it might be possible to, um, to cut through the neighborhood rather than take uh, take major roads, and this could be a problem um, to people living there. So uh, we can place interventions, for example, and um, with just two modal filters there, sort of split the blue area up so, we're, uh, so that you can't really cut there anymore. And then um, with this tool, we can also uh, measure the impact on routing. So for example, let's say somebody's trying to drive um, a really short trip kind of from the north here to just south of the neighborhood. Um, the, the optimal path actually has them uh, take major roads um, already, but this is sort of an assumption that isn't true uh, outside of free, fl free flow traffic. So we can kind of adjust the weighting, and, and um, if the arterial roads are backed up a little bit, they are incentivized to, to cut through the neighborhood, which, which could be a problem. And so um, the, that's what the blue line shows. Uh, and then the red is sort of, if we don't add any modal filters, um, or if we do add the modal filters, this is how they'll uh, have to cut there instead. Um, and yeah, so just a, a little bit about these tools. Uh, everything is open source. Um, and because it's written in Rust, uh, all of this software runs um, locally on your laptop a lot faster. Uh, but it also runs in the web browser um, completely locally. Like once you sort of download the files, you don't have to hit the network at all for it. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping the, uh, to sort of to continue this work forward and um, find ways of incorporating it in uh, whatever research people want to do, um, sort of with the goal of developing car-free cities and uh, involving more of the public in transportation planning. Thanks.